Coming in a little bit over 7,600 pounds, Catalina 323 BHDS or BHDS CK XYZ Elemental P. Catalina has some really long model numbers, but every one of those does mean something. So this is a uh, living room super slide private BH bunkhouse DS double slide CK camp kitchen. Gives us the big camp kitchen with a sink and a fridge, direct entry bathroom door, private front bedroom, it, it does a lot of things. If uh, you're, you're looking for that big family camper, you got a growing family, or you're going to grow into something, this could be a really awesome option for you. Another way that you could look at this camper though, which is kind of neat, is you could consider it almost like a two bedroom. Because it does use the convertible cube setup in the bunk room, you could pull those out. You could put like a normal mattress down, and you could convert this into a two bedroom, almost like two living room, flex room kind of situation. It's far more than just the common bunkhouse. If you like what you see, hit subscribe and follow along. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business here at Halid RV. And hang tight because we've got a lot of detail for you on this one. Now I'm always looking for a little bit of feedback here and something I would really appreciate. I've received uh, a fair amount of feedback lately um, and, and I don't mind criticism. I don't mind constructive criticism. I don't appreciate trolling, but one thing people have said to me frequently is, Josh, your videos are too long. Like, you are you don't need to cover all this stuff. And I don't know, like, if I was going to spend this kind of money, I know that I would appreciate every detail I could get. Let me know, like, am, am I right wrong? Otherwise here, should I be picking up this pace? Like, I've already wasted uh, 30 seconds here, so let's get going. We've got a full-on big super slide. One of the things I like, uh, a lot of brands have stopped doing it, Catalina has continued, is you've almost got like a simulated kind of theater cinema sofa kind of situation going on right there. It is nice to be able to sit down and just set a drink next to you so you don't have to get up and down all the time. I like the big panoramic viewing windows all the way around here. And actually the combination of the lighter colors, the good lighting, and a taller six foot nine ceiling Something I like in a Catalina because it makes everything look and feel a little bit bigger. Now, while we're looking up top, you can equip these, and we typically do at Halo RV, with the larger 15,000 BTU quieter Coleman air conditioner unit. Uh, more power, less noise. Who doesn't like that in an AC unit? We will come back and look at all the storage when we get to the kitchen space uh, You know, as a whole. I do want to make a quick mention, though, that Catalina has... Uh, since adopted standard, what used to be optional, and that is that big black 12-volt DC compressor fridge that we just saw. It measures 10.7 cubic foot in cold storage, and that is quite a bit of capacity. Now, you see right there that door? That will take us to our dual-entry bathroom where you can get to it from here inside or directly outside to cut down on some foot traffic. Now, this is technically a new floor plan, the 323BHDS here at Halid RV. Um... Catalina has had layouts like this for a number of years, but they had kind of, they tweaked some things, made some revisions, and gave it a new model number. And one of the things I'd really like some feedback on is what do you guys think about this? A couple brands have done this. I personally like it, but what do you think? They've gone away from tubs and gone to these nice little shower pans. Now, uh, I know a lot of people, especially in a bunkhouse, they go, what? I need a tub in a bunkhouse. What are you doing getting rid of the shower? Or, uh, you know, going to just a shower. I like the storage down there, too. That is nice. I expected that to be kind of paneled off. I hadn't opened that previously. Well, I think the logic here is that you don't tend to take a lot of big-time baths in campers, so they're focusing more on the easy in-and-out access. And, uh, by the way, that taller ceiling, it is very nice for bigger people like me so that I get extra headroom in that shower. That's something I always really appreciate on these. But their, their idea here is easy in, easy out. You tend to take quick showers in a camper, not big time baths. Foot flush toilet right there, and I mean leg room for days. That is one of the things I like about this. This is a spacious bathroom. It feels anything but small. And it's kind of, it's weird, but there's like this big, tall, open pocket back here. And I... I I, I would have liked maybe if there was some kind of like towel hanging hooks on here, but here's the thing. Catalina does include those things with their campers. Now you're looking around on the walls, you're going, what are you talking about? There's none of that in here. They ship some of that stuff loose so that you can put it wherever you want, or you could just ask your team here at Halid RV to do it for you. So uh, that's one of those things that sometimes just because you don't see a piece of hardware doesn't mean it's there. So if you're ever curious, definitely leave us a little comment and ask that question. And by the way, you might notice this is sealed countertop material here. 
every room of the camper, even the camp kitchen, always uses this. Now, a couple brands do that. Coachman is the originator of this stuff in the RV industry, and they're, they've been using it longer than anyone. They use it all over the place, and brands like Catalina are the reason that, like, uh, Cherokee and Wildwood and J-Flight have started adopting this stuff, because it is awesome. Now, the bunk room back here. This is going to be a make-or-break, deal-breaker kind of thing for a lot of people, and keep in mind, if there's something about this camper that's close but no cigar, give our team here at Halid RV a call because this is by no means a unique floor plan from just Catalina. Anybody worth their salt builds something like this. We keep stuff like this in stock from like Wildwood, Cherokee, J-Flight, and they all do it a little different. And one of the areas that people are either going to love it or hate it are these convertible cube jobs right here. Personally, I like them. I like them because they're very flexible and they can only do just about everything. But leave me a little note here. Would you rather see the cube futons? Would you rather see like a hide-to-bed sofa or something else? Um, or I tell you what, I've had a lot of people asking me, can I get like a bunk room camper but made for like an office instead of a bunkhouse? Would you like it if there was a factory option to do something like change this into an office with like a desk space or something instead of just bunks? Let us know because you'd be surprised how much of that feedback you folks leave us at Halet RV. We get right back to the manufacturers. So... The thing is, during the day, you've got yourself uh, a nice living space back here, and that's what's cool. It's not just a bunkhouse. On a rainy day, you send your kids to the room to their room to you know give you some some peace of mind because you're going to be up in the living room super slide. Well, we can flip this down. You see that uh, you know that can obviously be a bunk space. And these cube jobs, what I like about them is that this is a bunk room that can sleep four bodies. You can sleep two down there, one on the flip-up bunk, and then one on the big kid bunk on the opposite side of the camper that we're not looking at. Or you can do one of the other things that I really like here, and that is the Catalina Nerf Battle Fort. Fort Battalina, if you will. That is always a personal favorite. I know that when I was a little kid hanging out in the Nerf Fort, you had to say the password to get me to leave. And it turns out uh, my mom's password was now, Josh. And it's funny, it always worked. <laughs> You can build these 50 amp service, by the way, which makes them ready for a second air conditioner. And where you'll find that uh, potential is back here in the bunk room. That vent right there is where you would, uh, you see that little sticker? That is indicating the wiring is here if you want to turn that into a second air conditioner. Um, and that is something that if you need us to add, we can do for you here at Halet RV. So here's the big kid bunk I was mentioning. I call it that because it's like a little bit wider. But I tell you what, and you're going to see this when we get up to the living room. Every brand does something better than someone else. Like Wildwood is creative. Uh, Cherokee is just, they're just firing on all cylinders. Jayco has that, that good warranty. I've thought for a long time, Coachman's greatest strength is the fact that they're built by people who actually camp and they know that you need storage and they give you so much of it. Now this space that we're looking at, this is not necessarily uncommon. A lot of campers that have a floor plan like this have a space like that. A lot of them have like a little miniature entertainment center directly across from whatever sofa arrangement. And a lot of them do have a ladder like this so that you don't have to throw the kids to the upper bed, which is great. But this over here, this is that extra storage focus and the Catalina advantage that I like here at Halet RV. And again, I, I kind of, I, I have appreciation for that as someone who goes bunkhouse camping with my wife and kid. Having an extra closet in here, having that extra linen space, extra stuff to put all my kids, uh, extra room to put all my kids stuff, that is, that is the kind of stuff a lot of bunk rooms simply do not offer you. The fact that all the windows open for airflow back here, little details like that add up to me. And I see that this is a, uh, Catalinas are not always the most flashy brand. This is among, I personally feel, some of the most functional series of campers available within this class. And let me know. Agree? Disagree? Am I right? Wrong? No? <laughs> also, you will also see things like there's some easy reach power outlets here. And if I swing us back around to the other side of the bunk slide, which you haven't seen yet, you see that both the upper and lower bunks get their own light. You see the USB plug centrally located. And uh, it does have a sliding pocket privacy door. So if you do just want to close a door, not a curtain, put the kids back in their room, then whether it's nighttime and you want to go outside and hang out by the fire, or if you just want to stay inside and get caught up on the news or something, you can do so and have a little bit of peace. I know my wife and I do that. We put the kid to bed every night. We watch a little TV together to you know make sure that we're still keeping in touch in our relationship. I think that this is a camper that lets you do that even when you're on the road. 
And even if it's not a rainy day, the nice big wide open space we get in one of these Catalinas with that super slide and the taller ceiling, it makes you feel like you're not just tripping over one another, you know? Now, when you first glance at this, it maybe doesn't have the most impressive entertainment center. You're like, I don't want to crank my neck 90 degrees to the left. The good news is they agree, and they made sure you didn't have to. Because not only is Catalina including a TV, where most brands simply do not anymore, they are also making it a nice swing arm bracket. So if you're sitting like at the dinette or at the sofa, which is basically where I'm at right now, doesn't look so bad, does it? Now down below that, you've got an optional electric space heating fireplace that we like to add to these here at Halid RV. And I told you we were gonna look at storage. This thing has like 360 degrees of storage galore. That's, I believe, nerdism number 37, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, little uh you know any anywhere that they could they uh they they opened up every little nook and cranny and i don't want to miss this because i've been bad about it in previous seasons nice wastebasket space there around the corner it's easy to miss that one but as we slide back you see plywood drawers down to the floor and that top one is segmented for our utensils and uh, the uh, shelf space there below the sink, since you don't need to put a wastebasket there, very useful for things like, you know, your separate dish soaps. Catalina is using a farm sink. Some people like the one big giant sink. Some people like split sinks. We carry campers that have both here at Halet RV. You let us know what you like and we will point you in the right direction. Taller ceiling means taller cabinets. And they utilize that opportunity by throwing a shelf up there to double their potential storage space. And if you're looking for more peace of mind in your cabinet construction, feel back here and you will actually feel where Catalina is like a J-Flight basically or like even a, a big Montana fifth wheel. They're pocket screwed together. Now there's nothing really wrong with stapled fasteners, but the pocket screwing tends to really keep everything cinched together better. It gives you better fit and finish. And I mean, if you're looking at the construction here, there's, there's no gappage in their uh, cabinetry. That is something they are very good at here. Now, something else I, I kind of stumbled into almost accidentally. When you take the sink covers off this, they're made from the same material and same thickness as the countertop. Well, you can easily use them as like a side splash. So you have not just a backsplash kind of like built in from the stove top with that glass top cover, but also the sink covers can give you some coverage there. Uh, over here, that is that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. One of the other things that I like about what Catalina does is even though like if you look in here, I've got it turned off, but there's obviously still some power going to that fridge. They include an actual off switch right there and they're one of the only ones I've ever seen to do it. So if you want to make sure that is shut down, you can do that. Now these refrigerators compared to two-way gas electrics, they both have advantages, but the advantages here is that they are vastly faster cooling, they're larger capacity, they're travel safe, and the camper doesn't have to be level to use them. But we're not done, because the one thing you haven't seen yet is like good dedicated pantry space, and you can see that they didn't miss that opportunity. That is also that black box down there is like your fuse box, if you will. And just like we saw under the sofa, you can see here that under the dinette, there's also easy access storage. They put some doors on the front here. So it doesn't really matter where you're looking. They open up everything everywhere they can for you. And suddenly that folding armrest on the cinema sofa, when you realize that that TV pivots around, makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? I want to give you just a nice kind of look with everything closed up here in the kitchen before we head up to the bedroom. That handy little switch right there for the fridge again. And when everything is closed up, you have yourself some pretty decent prep area right here, which is handy as all get out. Now they do include a little 12 volt plug here. So what you can do with that is like a lot of people have little 12 volt to USB, we used to call that cigarette lighter, uh, adapter plug for USB plug. So if you want to turn that into a phone charge, device charge station, you can. There's also little inverters that you can plug into that and then be able to, like, if you want to be off grid, you can have household power outlets here with a small little portable inverter. You can run things like the TV. Oh my God, here's something I didn't tell you about. Um, you're looking around, you're going, yeah, dude, where's the stereo? Where's, where is any of that? This TV, first of all, most brands don't give you one. Secondly, Catalinas are giving you an all-in-one TV entertainment system. The TV is the Bluetooth uh, uh, stereo unit, basically. Effectively, think of it like this. This is a built-in sound bar with Bluetooth functionality. And, in case you're curious, it does have HDMI plugs for high-def entertainment opportunity down here. That's a cool thing. I'm, I'm glad I didn't forget to talk about that. And a real door, not curtains to the bedroom. The bedroom in these Catalinas 
tends to be what I call simple but effective. They never really overdo it in here. They do enough, they do what they need to. Because really, this room, you're gonna spend the rest of your time in the living room, outside, at the camp kitchen, whatever. Maybe some time in the bathroom if it's Taco Tuesday, I don't know. But <laughs> you're, you're gonna get in here, you're just gonna grab some clothes. I like they give you a full cabinet overhead. Let me show you how deep that is here. Just to give you an idea, it's actually pretty darn good. Be a good spot for like shirts or sweaters or pants or something like that. Dual hanging cabinets, they're mirrored. Both sides of the bed, nice touch on the legacies. They are giving you USBs on both sides of the bed, not just one or the other. Um, this is a Camp Queen. I do want to mention that because that's a super, super common question. And uh, if you appreciate the fact that we go out of our way to try to proactively answer stuff like that, imagine what we would do if you actually became our customer, you know? You have room here if you want to do a true queen. You will sacrifice some walk around capacity, but a lot of people get along just fine on a camp queen. And I like the fact that because this has a taller ceiling, you just have a simple bedroom light switch. Although you might notice there's still light in here. These lights you can reach from the bed. This light you cannot. So they go ahead and give you a switch for it. But by the way, every ceiling light in this can individually be clicked on or clicked off. And I think we pretty much covered the interior. So what does she offer in terms of slide closed travel function? And isn't it crazy how much of a difference it makes with a slide open versus closed? Like when, when someone says, should I get a camper the first time with one slide or no slide? I tell people, I'll tell you what, you're not gonna regret the extra space it has, but you might regret it not being there. And this is such a dynamic difference. Now, the way they have this set up, if you need to get in here at a travel stop, you gotta sit down, feed them kiddos, because, I mean, if you try to always take kids to a restaurant on the road or something like that, even fast food, my gosh, they will eat you out of house and home. So this is very like sandwich stop friendly, but with the slide closed, you are not going to get past the uh, slide and dinette to get to the uh, rear bunk room. Remember, you have a second entry door straight from the outside to get to the bathroom. You also cannot get from the bathroom to the rear bunk room. Let me show you what I mean. So if you slide in through that direct exterior bathroom entry door, we come over here to the interior access door. What you're going to find, you're just going to bump right into the dinette. So you can't reach the bunk room in this one in transit. And I hope you appreciate the fact that we really are willing to show you kind of the highs and the lows of models. And if that doesn't give you the confidence to bring your business here to our family owned shop at Halet RV, I'm not sure, let, leave me a comment. Let me know what more can we do to try to be more transparent with you. And I'll tell you, one of the first things that really struck me on this updated generation of the Catalina Legacy series is just the whole curb appeal. They they really dressed and pressed the nose of this thing right up. It looks like it's moving fast when it's sitting still. It's geometrical and sharp. It's not like old Nike Adidas swooshes all over the place. I think it looks really good. And I, I tell you what, the three most common colors of vehicles out there are white, black, and silver. And I think this would look dynamite behind any of those. Now, quick mention up here, uh, we've got those optional stable steps. That's something that we put on our Catalinas pretty much 10 times out of 10, but that big uh, entry handle will be a standard item. Now the uh, metal on the nose here, it doesn't just look good. It's actually 67% thicker than the metal on the sidewall. And what that's going to do is basically make the whole nose resist uh, wind buffeting and a little bit better stone deflection. There is a 12 volt disconnect switch back there behind the propane tank. So when you do have the RV in storage, it's not gonna just drain everything down. The uh, baggage doors all have magnet holdbacks uh, on both sides of the camper, which is a nice little thing for easier one hand operation. And I'll tell you what, a little trivia time. Leave us a comment. What is the coachman dog's name? I'll give you a hint. It's a guy, he's a leg lifter. <laughs> Tinted windows here is something that you only get about half the time in this class. The Jayco J Flight is another brand that's really good for it. It will knock down a lot of sunlight, it will help keep the camper cooler, it will help keep the furniture from fading, and it will keep the nosy neighbors from taking a peek at you. One other thing I like on a lot of Coachman slides, they're very good about this, is they use a very rough textured seal gripping slide wall, and if I can managed to get my fingers on one of these. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. There's actually dual seals. There's another set of wiper seals back there, plus a bulb on the inside or the outside. So you always have triple sealed protection when the slide is all the way in or out, or at least double seals while it's wiping its way in and out. The idea there is that they're always doing a little bit more to try to keep the water out and to try to keep your camper in your backyard and not at the service center. And they're doing that right from the manufacturer's level. It's something I respect and appreciate on Catalina's. 
Now right here between these two deep slides, there's a neat little opportunity for something. First of all, it, this model is very good about giving you like easy access to your sewer hookups. These are the little details as an actual RV user that I look for. Because there are some of these campers where the sewer hookups are located like two feet to the right. And you have to crawl under the slide to get to them. And I don't know about you, I don't really enjoy crawling around in the dirt on the ground above a sewer hookup station because, you know, just there's a chance that somebody at that campsite before you didn't do a good job hooking everything up and I just like to avoid that. So not only is that easy to reach, but look at their camp kitchen, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, camp shower right here. It's located right between these two slides and Catalina puts the little cleat to hold the shower head up here where even a person who's six foot plus like me can actually use it. So you take one of those simple inexpensive twist lock kind of like shower curtain rods and you could slot it in between here and create yourself an awesome little camp shower space. So if you really want to, like the, the, the kids have been outside sweating, playing in the dirt all day. If you want to keep that stuff from getting, you know, washed into and collected into your holding tanks or track through your camper, you've got a great little opportunity to do that right there. Now taking a page out of the Cherokee book, which I'm sure... Catalina doesn't appreciate when I say that, but facts is facts, man. That is true. You've got yourself a 200-pound rated cargo rack on the back here, doubling as a spare tire holder. The spare tire, actually an optional piece of equipment we put on for you here at Halet RV. I hope you never need it. Folks, I definitely want you to have it in case, you know, the need ever does crop up. So you can use that for bikes, uh, little cargo trays, all kinds of little things. She is backup camera ready. This does have a fully walkable roof. The uh, Catalinas have a 3 8 roof deck, 16 inch on center sidewall and roof studs on average, 12 inch on center uh, floor studs that are cross blocked. And if you need to know what that means, leave us a comment and say, hey Josh, what, what, are you, what are you talking about cross block? And um, the uh, oh, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor deck. So built very similar to a lot of things in this class, but their service records are showing they sure are holding together here from Halet RV. When we get her all opened up over here, you see there's a lot going on. And I would really like to know, guys, leave me some comments. Let me know what do you think of the way they've got this new, improved, I think improved, revised Catalina Camp Kitchen. So they used to use those free-floating Coleman Camp Grills, and they did not have an exterior gas grill quick connect. Well, they have since. You see that little white flag hanging down there? That's where your quick connect is located. And they've gone to a, uh, a kind of like a self-storing uh, suburban griddle system here. This is a 17-inch griddle, and what I like about it is they actually uh, put a, a lock on it. So <laughs> it's fall and we got leaves falling everywhere. <laughs> so if you bump it when something's cooking, you're not gonna like accidentally slide it in and under there. So I just, I like the little kind of safety feature there and it locks on, it locks like in. So it can't slide open on the inside and bang against your baggage door going down the road. I like the good drawer space out here, including a uh, segmented silverware space. And just like the inside, this is all sealed edge press membrane countertop material out here, which makes sense because not only do we have a real sink with a real drain into a holding tank, but we also, uh, you know, have a lot of humidity and stuff outside. Now the shadows are making this a little bit more difficult, but we got ourselves a little barley popinator as well as some household outlets and some good prep space here. Not to mention the fact that up top, they gave us some really good cabinet capacity. Notice how they even threw a shelf in there to uh, like seriously maximize that. This is also a larger refrigerator out here. This, it is 110, but this fridge plus the fridge inside gives us, I think a little bit over 13 cubic foot of total cold storage space. That's like fifth wheel level storage. Another thing I like is on this baggage door, they're using a one hand uh, metallic slam latch that has a key lock on it, so it's not just all twist locks. Now, uh, between this and the bathroom, we got our little uh, you know, pet leash latch so you can keep your four-legged furry friends under control and on your campsite. I will say though, if you got a big, big dog, you might wanna maybe attach them to the frame rail because uh, you know, big dogs, man, they're strong. They can do some damage. Uh, direct entry door here into the bathroom. It might kinda weird some people out if you're not familiar with camping, but being able to get in and out to the bathroom so you're not tracking foot traffic in the camper and in and out to a refrigerator without ever having to track anything into the camper is super good way to really reduce the amount of dirt and foot traffic into the RV. Now, both entry doors are an anti-slam friction hinge door, which is very nice in a bunkhouse camper when you have a lot of kids flipping in and out of here. Also, in case you are worried about privacy, remember, 
you have the exact same deadbolt here that you have in the uh, main entry door and you can reach that from the stool even if you're you know smaller person now the power running here I love the location of it and I, and I hope you guys agree let me know if they got this right it covers both entry doors and that's something that most camp kitchen travel trailers don't do with that second uh, bathroom door they don't usually cover the bathroom door with the awning and if you're noticing I actually thought ahead today and I've got it in full-on strobe mode you can see how it's a, a one of those multicolor like disco patio party light jobs over here well uh, you know you can you can make it sit at any one color it has swell up down kind of functions there's all kinds of different things you can do with that and it's just not something that you usually see a manufacturer do especially here in a far more price sensitive segment you know they put a little bit more money into the awning lighting but you know something you're gonna use every single time you camp probably that awning ranks among those features now uh, we you know you can see the stable steps these are not I like that they're here they are optional they are something that we apply here at Halet RV but I don't think I need to belabor that point too awful much what I do want to peek at real quick though is the fact that they are giving us big baggage doors on both sides of this full pass-through compartment the Jayco J flight is similarly uh, very good about that and that's actually an interesting comparison I find personally a lot of parallels between a J flight and a Catalina I think they're both really outstanding products um, I think they both kind of go about it in a little bit different way. And I don't know, leave me a little comment. Let me know which one kind of speaks a little bit better to you. Watch one of our JFly videos and, and let us know just kind of which way you would go if you were making a purchase. So if we did a good job for you here today, leave us a little comment. Let us know. Hit the subscribe button. Give our team a call. Give us a chance to earn your business. We would love the opportunity to do that. And short of that, anything I can't answer for you, our sales team should be able to. And whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, you need the RV delivered or anything between, the only thing we don't do at Halet RV is hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. Josh the RV nerd, making up words, really absurd, gonna help ya, camp someday, you won't pay, feast no way, he's a little bitch chubby but has plenty to say.